Got some history here. I don't mean after a social night out. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Well, I think what we've seen over the last few days with this uh, heat wave uh, and these grass fires uh, are the effects of climate change. Uh, we're not used to seeing temperatures approaching, uh, you know, 30 degrees, let alone 40 degrees and higher. Uh, as a consequence, we saw grass uh, where, the, and where there's no been rain for the month catching fire quickly and easily. It's almost like hay; it's tinder. It spreads really fast because of the uh, wind. And because in London many of our homes and properties impinge grass, we've seen properties being uh, destroyed. Our fire service done an amazing job and I'm here today to thank our brave firefighters for the job they've done. I think by a combination of their hard work, but also the great citizenship of London is going to warn their neighbours to allow them to leave their homes and places of work. Uh, nobody lost their lives, thankfully because of the fires. No serious uh, injuries, although 16 firefighters were injured. Two of them had to be hospitalised, but I'm incredibly grateful to the fire service and relieved the consequences weren't even worse than they currently are. I think the reality is us as a city can't cope with the consequences of climate change uh, unless we get more investment in our city to adapt uh, to become more resilient. But at the same time, we've got to deal with the causes of climate change. We can't just carry on deal with, dealing with the symptoms without dealing with the uh, causes. At the moment, uh, we've got enough resources in relation to firefighters, appliances, kit and so forth. But if we have uh, more regular heat waves of this sort of uh, level, if we have more regular flash flooding like we saw this time last year, which could happen again this year, that I'm really concerned about the ability of the fire service. But also, listen, the idea of people using the tubes when it's 40 degrees outside or living in homes that haven't been adapted uh, makes me really concerned because we've got to understand climate change is happening. It's man-made. Uh, we've got to take steps to deal with the symptoms and consequences, but also stop it getting worse by dealing with the causes. I think the word I'd use is unprecedented. You know, I've had a long operational career at some of the most significant incidents London has seen in, in the past couple of decades. Uh, but even with all that experience, I, I saw stuff this week that I had not expected to see as a London firefighter. So we took over 2,500 calls on Tuesday. We attended 1,146 fire incidents. That is the busiest day the London Fire Brigade has had since the Second World War. Well, any service of any size is going to be stretched in the face of those sort of extreme firefighting conditions. We had multiple very, very large incidents running. But actually, I think that the crews and officers of the London Fire Brigade have done London proud. I think their, their effort was immense. I think that courage and that endeavour meant we didn't see a loss of life, despite the tragic loss of property. So whilst we were stretched, I think that the London Fire Brigade actually did admirably on that day to ensure that, that, that Londoners were kept as safe as they possibly could.